Good evening, everyone. I think, I think this is our last case of Topps Inception Baseball, so thanks, everybody, for filling it up. This is Pick Your Team number 12 from jazpyscasebreaks.com. We'll try to, f try to find some more. Chris with Last Spot Mojo, Detroit Tigers. Good luck to him. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Really appreciate it. We were just watching that incredible throw by by the A's' Loriano getting Xander Bogart out at third base. Apparently he got thrown out at home by Loriano the night before too. And I guess he was EO saying that, that Xander was maybe admiring both of those hits. Or at least this first hit. Or the most most recent hit. Got thrown out. Alright. There's all the boxes right there. Eight on the left side, eight on the right side. We are doing all sixteen. Good luck, boys and girls. Tyler's in the house saying third time's a charm. Pull me a Mariner. Mariner's with a nice start to the season. I think I have enough trash can space here. All right, behind Michael Kopech is a Brewer, Jesus Aguilar. 73 out of 75. Jesus goes to the Brew Crew, Ryan H. with that one. Is this the Mariners' best start ever? Wow. Remember how everyone was just like, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, you know the Brewers are gonna be gar or the Brewers that the uh, that the Mariners are gonna be garbage this season because they traded away everybody. Blah blah blah. Well, oh. they've got a young, hungry core that that are like trying to prove people wrong. I like that. There's Syndergaard, Chris Shaw, 75 out of 75. We'll top load these before they get shipped out. Set these aside for now. And then we've got Juan Soto, 93 out of 125. Cody Passmore with the Nationals. That's a great start to this break. It's got a nice auto, too. I dig that. You want your future stars to have nice autographs. That is strong. Nice. Juan Soto for Cody. Good way to start the break. Dunn did it saying, A's win. Nice. I had financial interest in the A's. They hang on to beat the Red Sox 1-0. What do the Red Sox fall to? I think the Red Sox are only 1-5. A's are 5-3. and three. Crazy. Is this a save opportunity for James? There's Brandon Lowe to 99. There he is. We were just talking about his arm. There's Bryce Harper. Apparently some kind of bat flip causing controversy. And there's Dahl Lugo, 30 out of 99. Dahl Lugo for the Tigers. Chris Notes in the last spot. Mojo strikes again. Wait, is this a save opportunity if you get if you're four runs down? Or four runs up in the ninth inning? Next box. I thought it was three runs. Oh, but it's four runs and two men on, first and second. Maybe that's the. Less 
There's Nick Birdie to 150. No, he's inheriting runners. That's probably why. Ninth inning, top of the ninth inning in L.A. Men on first and second. That's what it is. And there's Nick Williams for the Phillies. 112 out of 125. The Phillies beating the Nationals 8-2. to Bryce Harper's return to D.C. since he became a Philly. And yes. Yeah, so save opportunity. And what's the other save rule? It's, uh... Like if you the last three innings of the game or something like that, that's also considered a save. If you win, obviously, but the last th pitch, the last three innings. Chris Davis, Jacob Degrom. I know Yumi Garcia messing things up. I think Kenley Jansen pitched yesterday too. We got Nick Kingham. 90 out of 200. That's okay. I got I got Kenley Jansen. I got Kenley Jansen on my fantasy team. I could use another save. Pirates. Jared with the Buckos. All right, so if the, so if he came up in the eighth with two outs and then up four, then that would count. Oh, God, I got you. I got you. Fifty-five out of ninety-nine. Sean Reed Foley for the Blue Jays. Big boys, double O seven. Bryce Wilson. We've got Colby Allard. Out of 199. Oh, they're all safe? Come on, guys. Colby Allard for the Braves. That'll go to Patrick Kay. That should have been a double play. Oh. So the grounder goes to goes to Max Muncy right here. Here's first base. Goes to Max Muncy and he switches hands. He fields it nicely to try to get it to first so it can come back for the double play. But he bobbles it right here and then tries to turn around and lob it back to Kenley who's running towards the bag. Kenley didn't handle that one a little high. Now the bases are loaded with no outs. There's Mike Trout, 41 out of 50 for the Angels. That's going to go to Mark. Boombox with that one. Boombox looking for an Angels boom. And we've got Fran Mill Reyes, 36 out of 50 for the Friars. Oh, that's a trick. Come on. Huh? All right, so that goes to Jesse O. Oh. And the Padres. Next box. Luis Severino to 150. You're not going to walk in a run, are you? Kenley Jansen's 3-0. And there's Cole Stewart. Behind Cole Stewart is Chris Shaw of the Giants. That's with my Dodger playing right now. 89 out of 99. 
Yangaris Solarte is back on the West Coast now. These are the Giants. All right, so Kenley Jansen walks in a run. Chris Shaw is right here. That's for Robert and the Giants. There you go, Rob. Silver stacker. Pro Ritz says thanks for the old fashioned telestrator. Behind Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell is Tuki Toussaint. 138 out of 200. He could throw, he can he get 200 strikeouts someday, Tuki Toussaint. He's got that kind of stuff. That goes to Patrick Hay and the Braves. Don't waste Cody Bellinger's Grand Slam, you guys. Come on. Okay, that wasn't a strike before, but now it is now, huh? Uh, I don't know, Curtis. We'll try to dig up some more of those jerseys. I, I like those, too. Those are a lot of fun. We'll play the Who Am I game. Jacob Nix and the pitch. Foul back. 51 out of 75, Bryce Wilson. He's been making some starts for the Braves, I think, or a start for the Braves. Max Scherzer, another, another defeat for the Nationals in a Max Scherzer start. Trey Turner got hit in the finger, could have dislocated it. Hopefully he's okay. And Dennis Santana for my Dodgers, 99 out of 199. It's the bottom part of the number, and that's what the red is for the Dodgers. Red numbers on the front, blue numbers on the back. There he goes. Struck him out. Get out of here, Joe Panic. There's Dennis Santana. Another uh, another flamethrower in the Dodgers organization. He's in the minors right now, but could come back as a nice middle reliever, maybe future closer, maybe. He did end up breaking it. Is that the report, EO? Aw, poor Trey Turner. I was predicting like a... 2020 or maybe even a 30-30 season for him. Broke his right index finger. Brutal. He said, according to MLB. I like how you're... I like that you're sourcing it too, EO. I like this. That's some quality reporting right there. According to MLB.com, folks. All right, there's Miguel Andujar. Glaber Day to 150. Six five Dodgers runners at the corners, only one out. Double play would be nice right here. All right, then we've got Kevin Newman to seventy five, sixty five out of seventy five for the Pirates. Jared with that one. Right, you got to put your sources. A source like MLB.com is a lot better than some dude on Twitter said. <laughs> People on Twitter are saying. Corey Seager. Well, at least the Dodgers have the bottom of the ninth. They F this up. Pablo Sandoval up to bat. George Springer to 150. A grounder, that's a double play. One, two, got him. Woo! Got, got nervous for a little bit. George Springer. There's Cedric Mullins, uh, Danny Jansen, and Kyle Tucker. 
Went right to uh, Corey Seager as well. Jake Bowers. Nice. 82 out of 99. I like Jake Bowers. This is Ray's edition of Jake Bowers. Jared with that one. Nice. The soft hands of Corey Seager. Right to Kike. And then down to first. Good stretch by Max Muncy. Kenley Jansen's happy. He's appreciative. All right, there you go, Race. Four boxes to go. And pick your team at 12. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mookie bets to 150. There's Ramon Laureano. And there's Masahiro Tanaka. Behind him is... Two-color patch. Well, I guess we'll give it two. Two-color patch and autograph. Jeff McNeil, second baseman. 46. 40 out of 190. No, six. 40 out of 199. We have not seen the gold or silver auto yet, Boombox. You're right. It's got to be in here somewhere. Metropolitans, Tyler Rose. I guess he plays third base, too. I think I just saw it right there. Charlie Blackman, Justice Sheffield. And behind Indians, Jake Bauer. There it is. See? A silver ink autograph. Jake Bowers for the Rays. 25 out of... 26 out of 99. Silver ink. Silver ink. I like silver ink on a baseball card. Looks pretty sharp. Jared Pletcher with the Tampa Bay Rays. I like Jake Bowers. I got Jake Bowers on my fantasy team. All right. Bryce Harper. Ramon Loriano. He's got a cannon for an arm, apparently. Saw some plays of him before we started this break. Tukey, Trevor, Christian. And behind Francisco Arcia is Freddy Peralta. 44 out of 99 for the Brew Crew. Ryan with the Brewers. All right, and the last one. Jay wants to see an Austin Meadows book. Tyler wants to see a Mitch Hanniger. I'd like to see a book. Not a book. We're going to have to wait till some other time. We got Ray Black. Dodgers just beat, just barely beat the Giants tonight. Aaron Nola to 99. Phillies. And there's Brad Keller. David Fletcher and J.D. Martinez. Your last hit behind Heath Fillmeyer is going to be, boom, Fran Mill Reyes, 198 out of 200, going to Jesse O and the Padres. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team 12 in the books, 2019 Tops Inception Baseball. Um, that was our last case for the time being, but keep your eye out for more. We may get some more in the future, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Doesn't this kind of look like from afar... Like someone put like coffee ring on your nice table. There you go. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.